Hey guys, just about to play round two here. It looks like someone already dropped, and we didn't get the buy, so that's good. It's more fun for you that we didn't get the buy, so we're going to play. See what we get here. We lost the die roll. Hopefully we get a faster hand. We knew being slow would be a problem with our deck. But if we can get to the late game, I'll be pretty happy. So... Uh, well, we've got a mulligan that, so that's not a great start. That's better, but certainly not good. But uh, we'll keep it. One draw. Oi. Okay. Um, we'll play our Rusalka first. Um, not like we're in desperate need of lands here. Swinging. That's interesting. I mean, I'm not going to block. It's just interesting he decided not to tap him instead. All the lands we could ever want. We'll just swing right back at him. Different than the problem we had in the last couple games. Instead, we're getting all our lands, but at least we can thin it out a little next turn. All right. He may be stuck on two lands. He may be having the opposite problem. Yeah, Blood Hunter, Dusk Hunter Bat, rather, is pretty good. Land, huh? That's what you're going to give me. Called it. So we'll just sacrifice the bobble. We'll get a swamp. Maybe we top deck one of our big five drops next turn. We do have a lot of them. Uh, and we'll pass the turn. Now he's got his third land. Maybe I should have gone down to five, but. Figured I'd draw something other than lands. We didn't, though, so. Another Dust Hunter bat would be bad news. No signing in blood. That's still not good news. Five drop. Oh, God. This is just awful. Could bear, it, there's really no way it could be worse. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, we're lucky our opponent's kind of mana screwed over there. If he weren't. We would just be wrecked by now. We just got all, all the lands in the world. All of them. Four lands in our hand. So we haven't drawn anything but lands yet. We had the Plague Rusalka and the Bobble in our hand, and we've drawn nothing but lands since. Well, that's not a bad thing to get right now. He's not incredible, uh, but he does let us do some Plague Rusalka things if we want to. He is one of our five drops, one of our least impressive ones, but still. Let's us go wide. Let's let's us let's us say, well, hey, if we top deck our overwhelming stampede right now, who knows what could happen? Uh, and that's not something we could say before this turn. All right, fire slinger. Fire slinging away. Dismember maybe coming our way. No. Uh, and still infection. So he went with that. That does work on Dread Drone. We said that, in fact, during the draft. That that works with Dread Drone. <laughs> and it does. Oh, I should have not been passing. I could have at least thrown the drone at the Fire Slinger. So that was bad. Damn. Okay. Well, now we are going to do that. He also doesn't get to draw a card.
All right, now top decking overwhelming Stimpy would be a huge dud. Huge dud. There we go. That's the kind of action we want. Play out our monstrosity. Drawing our five dra drops back to back to back would be cool and good for us. Be cooler if we had the way a way to kick off his uh, crazy ability. It's probably got dismember or something. Uh, probably has some way to deal with this. Yeah, there it is, and he's going to pay life. That way he can play out something else. Those instill infections aren't super great, but the uh, probably Gorehorn Minotaur hitting the table now. Blood Ogre, not quite as bad. Okay, that's not useless right now. It's also not amazing. Um, no reason to play land. I'm pretty sure we can play everything in our deck. Yeah, we've probably lost this one. But I feel pretty confident going into game two. Pretty confident. Hopeful, at least. All right. Yeah, he can pretty safely swing with all of that stuff. Um, if we pump him up to a 5-5, five, five, he can just kill that. Um... But in response, he can sacrifice stuff. So I'm not sure it's going to matter. Maybe he'll sacrifice his thing first. I doubt he will. But we can be hopeful. Yeah, well, let's give it a try. Oh, that's not what I meant to do at all. Well, we made a mistake. wasn't going to work anyway, and we'll just scoop. I had to click on the uh, Bloodthirst Vampire, not on my Eldrazi spawn. So that was a bad, bad move. All right. Um, do we want Gut Shot in against him? Probably not. I think we probably just stick with things as they are. We did see one flyer, but I don't think I want Plummet. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll just take this back out there, see how we do. Where are our two where were our two bestial menaces in that game, huh? They would have been nice. Okay, this is a keeper. It's probably the best hand we've seen so far. And it just got a little better. Sickle Ripper. Fine with me. Ooh, now it's getting really, really, really saucy as long as we can draw that fifth land that we need. Play out that Soul Eater and end our turn. That's so this, especially if we can get our, our scuttling death out, because he can help us get back our uh, dude. This makes me want gut shot back in the deck more too. If we make it to the next game, all right. The dust hunter bat is back in business. All 
Right now we just can't seem to draw the fifth land that we want so badly. Um, but we're going to play our Gnarlet Pack Kicked. We'll pay it once. Kicked one times. Game one, we could get nothing but lands. Now we can't get a land. Probably just going to blow. Ooh, what's happening? Maybe dismember again. Seems possible. Yeah, okay. I'm okay with that. I'm probably just gonna block the sickle ripper now if he swings with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna tap the dusk the dusk hunter bat. Yeah, we'll just block here. He doesn't have first strike, so they'll both hit each other at the same time and they'll both die. Oh god. There it is. All right. Um what do we want to lead with here? I'm thinking Bestial Menace. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to lead with the Bestial Menace. And then we're going to end our turn. Oh, my battery's running low. Well. You now know as well as I do. Plug it in real quick. I have a charger right here. Just didn't plug it in. Mm, let's make sure for a second. Hold on, I'm gonna pause the recording. All right, that issue is resolved. Um, God, I meant to tap that down, but with all of the internet nonsense, the the charging nonsense, I forgot to do it. So we'll take two. The reason I would have tapped it down rather than let it hit me is because it would have kept. Uh, Something like what's about to happen. Yeah, bloodthirst. It would have kept that from happening. So now it's happened. Now that's happening. So we can tap that down, though. And we can swing for six back at him. Or we can just play our etched monstrosity. Tap it down. Yeah, we're going to tap it down. Swing for six and play our etched monstrosity. Oh, we're not going to play the monstrosity yet. We'll also leave, we'll leave back the uh, snake. And maybe we want to play Endric Sar even more. Because he's going to just make us go really wide. Yeah. I'm going to try Endric Sar. I would just block with my snake here and take the rest. What we really want is our overwhelming stampede. So we can play our monstrosity, and we're going to get five thralls. So that's going to be pretty nice if he lets it live, of course. That's the key. That is the key here. Right, he's passing, which is a good sign. It's a sign he's a little scared. All right, we'll play our monstrosity and get five thralls. And then next turn we can play the death and have ten thralls, which is just 
crazy. Maybe we actually want to play the Scuttling Death first, because it can help us get through this Blood Ogre. So yeah, we'll play the Death first. It can also get us back our uh, Plague Drusalka if we were to use it. The question is whether or not I want to tap down the Blood Ogre or something else. Um... Or whether I want to hold it back. If I tap down the Blood Ogre right now. I mean, I can also just Scuttling Death the Blood Ogre, which I think is more attractive. We can then also get the Rusalka and play the Rusalka. So I think I'm just going to swing with our Elephant. Um, and that way we can keep our Soul Leader up uh, for other purposes. Like for next turn when we can potentially win. So we'll just swing with our elephant. Dang, okay. Well, what this means is we can kill both of these things now, if that's how he's going to block. Oh. Now, what do we want to kill most here? Flyer or the first striker? I feel like if we kill the flyer, the killing the flyer is probably better. Um, we still have to shrink the blood ogre so that we can kill the flyer and the... Uh, so yeah, I think we're going to try to kill the Flyer and the Germ Token. Um, so we'll do this. What's he got in response? Ah... Uh, Okay, uh, well, we can't do anything about that. Now our guy's going to die and not kill anything. We'll get a Rusalka back at least. Yeah, that worked out pretty well for our opponent. Um, but we'll play Rusalka 7, right? Yes. So next turn we can play the monstrosity and just have a ridiculous number of thralls in play. We can also just use them to block if we want to. There's his Plague Rusalka, which can unfortunately kill our Endrixar if he wants it to. Okay, that seems nice for us. I think in combat I'll probably tap down his Dusk Hunter bat. Uh, now, now we're going to tap that down. Well, we can still chump it. So maybe we n we're not. Um, I'll probably tap the Dusk Hunter bat. I can then ta tap that on my own turn if I want to. So we'll tap down the bat. Yeah, and we'll chump it with one of our thralls. Necro Genesis, you say. Uh, but we want to play out our... Uh, yeah. What happens right now if we just swing with everything? We can tap another guy down. He's got one black. He could have another dismember. Um, but if we tap the Rusalka down... I think I'd actually... 
No matter what I tap down, he's going to sacrifice to kill something, probably. So then we'll have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we'll still have enough to kill him. Um, so we're going to do it. It doesn't take any investment of mana anyway. Uh, we could also just, if we just kill both these creatures, tap one and kill the other. Uh, we swing for two, four, five. Yeah, we still kill him. So let's tap down the Rusalka. And in a worst case scenario, I mean, we play out X Monstrosity, make a, make a bunch more throws, and have a 5 5 blocker, like if he manages to thwart us here. If he doesn't, then uh, I'll be pretty happy. 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. So, yeah, even if he sacks 1, I think we got this game 2. And getting Endric Sar was pretty awesome. Blinding Soul Eater is just so good. All right. So now we're just going to swing in with everybody. Attack with all creatures. So that, uh, that's still 9 to him, if unless he does something else. He may not realize that this is a 2-2 two -two token, I guess. What he can do is block and then sack and make himself only take 8. Um, but like I said, worst case scenario is we play out... Okay, so that is what he's going to do. So it does make him survive. He goes to one. We're going to play out our monstrosity now, and he probably scoops. There's just going to be so much stuff on the field. We are going to lose Endrick Sar, but uh, he's done. I think he's done his job. We still have mana open, just in case for an emergency sack of something with our Rusalka. All right, we got game two. Gut shot is looking more and more attractive. Um, with things, he has a Sickle Ripper in his deck and played Rusalka. But I don't think it's better than Grim Affliction or anything like that. I mean, we could take out our Dread Drone to try to lower our mana curve a little. And put in a Gut Shot. Yeah, I, th I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's good. On to game three. Overwhelming Stampede hasn't shown up for us yet at a perfect time. This is a pretty good hand, though. It's got a similar problem to our Game 1 hand, um, but it's got a little more action. We can Nameless Inversion and Early Creature. Uh, we'll keep. We're on the draw, too, so hopefully we can draw something. We do want to draw Forest at some point, too. We do not want to draw more Swamps. We don't need, we don't need you guys. Right, Endric Sar showing up again is nice, but we don't really want all of our five drops. And we really need another forest. That is for damn sure. This would be nice if it would show up like at a time we really wanted it. Like in our opening hand, you don't you don't necessarily really want it. I mean, it's nice to know it's there and that if we can actually make things happen, like get our Endrick Sar out there, 
it'll be pretty easy for us to win the game, but we have to make that happen, you know. So that might get any more inversions. All right, there's another forest at least. I'm not going to play it yet. I'm probably going to nameless inversion the bat. All right, so we take two here. May play a bloodthirst creature, but he didn't. All right, well, things are looking pretty good for us now. Uh, all I have to do is go Endric Sar, Enched Monstrosity, Overwhelming Stampede, um, and it's pretty much GG. He may be able to kill our Sar, Endric Sar this time, though. But we have Bestial Menace as a backup. Bestial Menace, Enched Monstrosity, Overwhelming Stampede is not bad at all. All right, another Bestial Menace is back up, too. He may have removal. That may be why he hasn't played anything. But we're going to lead with Endrixar. Make him kill him. If he can't, then he's in trouble. If he can't, yeah, it looks like, looks like Endrixar's toast. Toasted. Yeah. Okay. So our path to victory is not going to be quite as easy as it looked. Um, I think because it seems like he has all this removal, we're just going to Bestial Menace, Bestial Menace. Uh, seems like playing Etch Monstrosity is just going to put us further behind. So, he's probably got another removal spell, so. Alright, minus one draw card thing. I'll trade with Sickle Ripper here. He doesn't seem to have much more gas, so... And if we can cut off the uh, Bloodthirst that we've been seeing a lot of, I'm happy with that, too. Okay, that worked out. Let's try to swing. See what happens to our poor token. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling something was going to happen. Oh, well, he's just getting shrunk. Now we're going to Bestial Menace again. Well, we may be able to win with an overwhelming stampede right here. Let's see. Six. Okay, he's got a blocker now. They do get trample, though, so. He may also have removal, though, but let's see. Six. Uh, Eleven. Sixteen. Twenty. Um, I think even if he has to removal, we're going to go. Has removal, we're going to go for it here. I mean, he's going to take a lot, like, no matter what he does. We have that monstrosity to finish it if we need him. All right. And then we just wail in there. He's got something. He has a thing with proliferate, he's going to be able to survive pretty nicely here. Oh, he's just <laughs> resigned to defeat, so he's pumping our guys so they kill him even harder. <laughs> okay, well, that worked out for us. The Stampede did its job that we wanted to see it do, and we won round two. So we go into round three with a chance at a couple Modern Masters packs. So stay tuned for that, and thanks.